25th. Also, he has his own comedy CD being released June 27th everywhere. Go to robschneider.com for more information and also for dates of his stand-up performances. Let's get back to Cindy, who has stitches in the badge. <laughs> So what about that thanks now, sir? For, thanks for the nice introduction there. No problemo. And so what's the question now? You can stitch it <laughs> all night long. By the way, I'm a huge fan of everyone in the studio right now, including Rob Schneider. <laughs> including? Thank you. It's amazing Thank you for the add-on. Right okay, so what happened now? So you got stitches when you were a kid? How old were you? Yes, I, I was young. I was probably between five and eight years old. It was okay. very traumatic. I was sure. Sure. Very young. Sure. Had huge issues with my parents and the doctors. They had a ton of questions wondering what happened to me. Oh, yeah, sure. You're like, they didn't know what happened. And I remember it happening, you know, vividly. All right, so what's the question? Wow. Are no, I can see they go to the doctor. Yeah, right. She fell off the trampoline. Let's let's call the police yeah. on this guy. Yeah. I, I, I lost my virginity to a trampoline in, in common <laughs> sense. But, uh, Trampoline's name was Uncle Ed. It, it took me... <laughs> A lot of time, a lot of years to yeah. actually enjoy sex with a man. Okay. And my husband is very well endowed, and on occasion he can get me off, but it just is a very hard thing to do. I didn't know if maybe the experience I had as a child might have cause any damage or when, result when he, when he you say, damage. When you say get you off, you mean with intercourse? Yes. How about with oral sex? Um, no. Can, you can't? Why Does is that? You, can you get yourself off with just... I, I can, but only with like a vibrator on, on my clit, like... Well, what do you mean only? That's how most people do it. Yeah, yeah, I mean... <laughs> well, when, when I have... a chainsaw to my abdomen, also it does a pretty good number on me. <laughs> <laughs> no, like, it, it's, we're actually having intercourse. It's only one single position that will work yeah, for myself. Cindy, Cindy. Get me off. All right, Cindy. Most women don't have an orgasm with intercourse. That's do, true. Do you, do you understand? Except that? ones with me. Do, do you understand that? All right, I understand that. Okay. So you're already above the average in that you can have an orgasm with intercourse. Yeah. That's rel that's about only about forty five percent, forty percent of women can do that. Oh, okay. So, so you're well, actually, I guess that's good to know. Yeah, yeah. so you're 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 uh, a little better than average. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Now, maybe those stitches helped you. Right. But what you need to find is something like like whatever you do with direct stimulation on the clitoris, which is what causes the orgasm when you're configured the way you are. Something like that, so you yeah. can more reliably also, also, use that. Uh, can I can ask a question though, I mean, because you're a pretty young lady, right? I mean, how long is the foreplay? The uh, before you guys start doing the nasty? Oh, uh, depends. Well, I've been taking Adderall uh, well, that, well, for a long time. Well, Adderall also is going to be a big turn down. You know, it'd be, it's, it's, it's hard to have an or, it's, it's, it's hard to have an orgasm on Adderall. Yeah. It certainly is. Get off that thing. That's a nasty drug. A lot of college kids are taking that to concentrate. That's a later. tough one. Adderall's Adderall's. Uh, it's a dirty, dirty drug. Yeah, and it's hard to get off of that. And it has some good, fun things to it. You know, it helps you be confident and focus and everything, but you got to get off that because that will turn down your sex drive. Okay. This is, this is not Dr. Drew. The guy sitting next to Dr. Drew, he knows this. Oh, no, that's awesome. I love you, too. <laughs> All right, Jenny. Take care. Good luck okay, with well, um, Good luck with your okay. husband's luck, large Sandy. member. <laughs> Last night, uh, Mr. Schneider. Sir. We took a call from a girl who had a question about sensitivity in her clitoris, and when we went to that call, mm -hmm. she was sawing logs, and I mean snoring audibly. And we couldn't wake her up for the life of oh, us. Let me but hear she's this. back. She's Christina. back. Hey, Christina. No way. No way. Last time. That's fantastic. Anderson, are you doing this? This is amazing. Yeah, she's there. Hey, how are you? Hi, Christina. Hello. How yeah, are you? That was Anderson. <laughs> I'm doing well. How are you? Good. Good. What's going on, hon? <laughs> Let's talk about your clit. We're all asleep on you, Christina. Now you're boring us. <laughs> um, well, I have a question about um, clitoral piercing. And what are the uh, losing sensitivity when you get pierced? Probably. It can happen. Sure. Bad idea. Except from what we hear of other callers and... Uh, Yeah, I mean, first of all, 
Uh, well, you know, it's a risk. Why would you want to do that risk? Um, I don't know. I really want it here. Why? Because uh, I think it'll be fun. Why? Because that's my spot. I know, but why would you want to, but, 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 why would you want to potentially risk uh, ruining it? Yeah, right. I mean, if that spot's your spot, I mean, hey, we're saying that there's a chance that you may have an issue here and you may lose sensitivity for the rest of your life. Why would you want to risk that? What, what, what is it that you're gaining from this? Right, what to accomplish? Um, a lot of fun and pleasure if it doesn't. <laughs> who says? Yeah, I mean, what, how, who says it's going to be even better? I don't know. I have a couple friends that have it. And yeah, they're I liars. To, I talked to the piercer and he told me that the only <laughs> he told me that the only way to lose sensitivity is if you if you yeah. get your asshole. You know what? Let me tell you who I who I don't take advice from. My piercer. <laughs> Listen to you. Come on, Christina. Your piercer. You're listening to my piercer says. Come on. It's a moron. You know why okay. piercing all began with the ear, the earlobe, Christina? Why? Because it's a place on the body that has really very little nerve endings. It's kind of like dead, droopy skin. Wow, this Mike guy's awesome, by the way. I know he's only been here two months. He's fantastic. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Schneider. So, okay. you know, you don't want to graduate to the place that has the most <laughs> nerve endings and is the most important sensitivity on your body. See, perfecto. I agree with that. But also, Christina, what the hell? Why don't you roll the dice? If you, I mean, you sound like you have other issues going on in your life besides. If, if your clit is your biggest concern about, you know, rolling the dice with your... Uh, clitoral st uh, stimulation and that feeling there, you probably got some other issues that you're not dealing with. Yeah, the other, uh, that's actually what I, I've been trying to call you guys for a month to ask you yeah. about my other issue. Okay, what is your other issue? What's the real issue? I've been in therapy for about eight months now, and they put, what a surprise. Few, <laughs> they put me on a few different kinds of medication. Well, what does your piercer uh, say? <laughs> what does your piercer say? Let's get back to the piercer. I'd listen to him. Is he also your therapist? Uh, so they, I, I've got some issues surrounding my mom. My mom abandoned me when I was a year and a half old. She okay. throws drugs and stripping over raising her child. Well, right. There you go. Well, then let's, don't take it out on your clits. Come on. You've had enough <laughs> issues going on in your life. Why keep punishing yourself? Hey, yeah. listen, get a hobby. Get a job. Read a book. Go see a movie. Learn a language. Do something. Stop. I'm you know, working. don't mutilate your, your, your spot. And then, and, and also, you know, find a way to get into a little bit of therapy, whether you can afford it or not, you should to get some free therapy, whatever, to work on, on that abandonment issues, because there's a hole there. And that's, yeah. that's the hole you should be worried about filling, not you're creating another one in your clit. Hello? Sage well, I'm, I'm wondering if the abandonment issues are, are the reason why I don't like to be by myself. I always have to have sure. somebody with me all the time. Course. How about piercing the lips closed, like your mouth lips, just piercing all the lips? <laughs> one, one of the, yeah, you, it can't be alone because you can't be alone with your own feelings. It's not just that you can't be without people around, it's that your own <laughs> feelings are overwhelming and painful. And are you, you, are you an addict, Christina? If I get that too Am far. Am I what? Are you an addict? No. I, I get addict too. She's got yeah, because, I mean, they, 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 what like drugs do you do? Let me ask you that. What that, drugs do you do? You just can't my be alone mom, with your own My mom's feelings. a recovering addict. What you know, drugs do you do? Um, I smoke pot every now and then. How many times a week? Um, a couple. I've had surgery, nine surgeries on my foot, so it helps a little bit with the pain. So you're taking painkillers every day? No, I'm not. Just marijuana. Just marijuana. Um, yeah. Well, Christina, I mean, uh, your mom being a being a recovering addict might have something to do with it, but the uh, the fact that you don't like to be alone because you you can't really deal with your own emotions and be alone yeah. with your your own feelings, that, you know, that's something you need to concern yourself with, and you're not going to solve it by putting metal through your clitoris. Okay, I get, I get addict number two, and it may be her mom's recovery that sort of. Well, she's, she's been sober for 15 years, and she thinks that because she's been sober for 15 years, that makes up for not being there. No, 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 yeah, no, I know you're still see, pissed at her. That's yeah, fine. And, 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 but you don't want to admit that you're an addict, too, because that identifies you with mom, and that's too painful. And sons and daughters of addicts have yeah. their own little special yeah. set of yeah. uh, issues. Uh, issues that they deal with, and yeah. uh, it's unfortunate. Wait, we got to take a break. We have to take a break for station identification, if you don't mind. Rob Niders in studio here on Loveland.